Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video I'm going to be sharing all of my favourite items that I used throughout January with you all. Now I know that this is a little bit late however I thought we could ignore the dates just between me and you because this is the first chance I've had to sit down and film it so I thought I would do it anyway just because I really wanted to get this out there as I enjoyed doing this in November and wanted to make it a little bit more of a regular video on my channel. So I do hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and other than that let's just get started before we begin i did want to give you a little bit of an apology and that's because that i know that throughout january my uploads have been terrible they've not been consistent and have not followed my usual upload schedule and to cut a long story short that's just because i've been at work a lot more than normal and when i've been at work i've had a lot more responsibility than normal my hospital has really been hit by nhs staff shortages and so it's been a tough time over there and it means that on my days off i've not got up to much to be honest i've just been watching the day away whilst i'm lying in bed or on the sofa recovering i found it hard to have the motivation to get up and go on my days off and so i've not done that much fun stuff i will be honest there's not been much to vlog and i just couldn't be bothered to sit down and film sit down videos so that's the reason why my uploads have been bad i do hope that i can get a little bit more back on the grind because youtube is something that i really really enjoy it's one of my favorite hobbies and it's so important to have that work-life balance so i am definitely going to try i've got a few vlogs that i've already filmed that i just need to edit and upload so hopefully that will give me a little bit of a head start and i can be back to a normal posting schedule ASAP. But now that's out of the way, I'm just going to crack on and start showing you my favourite items. The first one is a little bit hard to show you all, and that is because it's a dressing gown, so I'm not currently wearing it. I believe you've seen me wearing these in multiple videos, to be honest. I usually have Charlie's one, and this is an M&S dressing gown, and as you can see, it is so fluffy i usually wear charlie's which is in the color oatmeal but she got me this for christmas in the color gray and i just absolutely love it it has plenty of pockets and it also has a hood and i've never had a dressing gown with a hood before but let me tell you it's absolutely life-changing this just keeps me so warm and cozy especially now that it's been so cold recently has anybody else noticed that it is literally freezing here in the uk right now so this dressing gown for me has been a lifesaver recently Second up, we actually have the fleece that I'm wearing. A few weeks ago, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that myself and Charlie went to Leeds. And whilst we were there, we popped into a shop called Decathlon. I have seen these around a lot, but I've never actually been into one. And I was very impressed. This like half zip, I don't really know what colour you'd call it, maybe like turquoise -y. This fleece was only $7.99 and I have been living in it ever since I purchased it. I was a little bit sceptical at first because the outside felt a bit velvety and I hate the feel of anything velvet. But inside it feels completely different so I'm very happy with this and do wish that I picked it up in another colour. Now I've tried to split the video up into sections as I did last time. So the next section that I have is toiletry. It is very small and these are two things that I was lucky enough to receive for Christmas. First of all being my angel perfume. Oh my goodness, this perfume has been a favourite of mine probably for about the last 10 years. My grandma wears this all the time and I originally fell in love with it because it just reminded me of my grandma's house. I'm really bad at describing perfume scents so I have no idea what to say that this smells like to you all and obviously you can't tell through the camera. But I highly recommend if you're on the look for a new perfume and you want something that's quite nice and lasts all day long but isn't too expensive, this is definitely a good one to pick up. So try giving this a smell when you go to your local perfume shop because I can't recommend this enough. I don't know if it's just because it's got sentimental value to me as to why I like it so much or if it actually smells good. I don't know. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments if you've ever had this perfume but I just absolutely love it and I've been wearing it all the time since Christmas and it's barely gone down at all which is just amazing. The last toiletry I have to show you and if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know I've been raving about this for ages anyway. It's the Mango Shower Gel from The Body Shop. Now as I said if you've watched me for a while you will know that I love the Body Shop products but in particular the Mango range for me is just 
amazing i love this i wear it all year round and there's not much else for me to say it's also only five pounds a bottle which i don't think is too bad considering like it's a popular brand and it smells nice and the smell lasts all day and you can get the matching body butters you can tell i'm very excited about this but i just really recommend you giving the body shop shower gels a go if you haven't already the next thing i wanted to show you guys is something that i can't actually show you because i've eaten them all but for christmas i got through about a million of the strawberry and cream lint chocolate balls oh they are absolutely delicious it's got like white chocolate around the outside and then inside it's a strawberry cream flavoring i'll put a photo on screen somewhere there's not much else for me to say about those but you have to give them a go sometimes in asda they're only like three pound fifty on rollback sometimes they're five pound they're definitely worth a five bag. go and treat yourself get some of those especially ready for valentine's day actually they're a good valentine's day present Next up, we're moving on to the entertainment side of this video. And believe it or not, I actually have a Nintendo Switch game to share with you all. And that's quite unusual for me because I don't play the Switch that much. Charlie is the main one that uses it. But for Christmas, someone gifted her this game and it's got Monopoly, Risk and Trivial Pursuit in it. We haven't played the Risk or the Trivial Pursuit. I don't really know what those are, to be honest. But then Monopoly is so good you can play it as a two and then you also play with the computer alongside so you don't have to just do it with two players because i can't stand monopoly with two players i don't think it works very well but it means that even if you wanted to play it on your own for instance whilst charlie's at work i can still sit down and play against the computers so i've really been enjoying this we haven't played it loads but we did definitely play it quite a bit over christmas and the game still lasted hours on the switch just like it does in real life so it's pretty representative of a real life game of monopoly and i just really enjoyed this so thought i would share it next up i actually have an app that i want to show you all and i believe i first saw it on tiktok towards new year's eve and everyone was like make sure you're filming you one second a day in 2022 and i was like what is that and i looked into it and it's basically an app called one second a day surprise surprise it's actually called one se if you google it on the app store and it's just got number one on the logo with a little film reel going around it and it's basically an app where surprise surprise you film one second a day and at the end of the year you get a whole video of it so i'll try and show you mine here i don't know how well you'll be able to see but i've basically just been filming a few bits a day that are standout moments that make me happy and it's kind of been a good way of me practicing gratitude and things like that because usually say i go to work for the day i think oh, all i've done is go to work but then the other day i actually feel myself eating a strawberry because i was really happy to see that charlie packed them for me in my lunch and it's just little things like that it's helping me appreciate the little things in life and i've enjoyed documenting the good and the bad there's a few ugly crying moments of me in here i'm not gonna lie it has been a hard month but there's also a few really nice memories and i'm looking forward to doing this for the rest of the year it is a bit of a shame that i didn't recommend this in december i didn't do it until very very last minute but i suppose it's not too late for you all to start you could still start now in february and have it from february till december it's a nice way to capture your year and i think at the end of it you get about a six minute video i think it was something like that so it's really not too long and it's something you could actually keep forever so i'm really excited to carry on filming that there are a few days that i've missed that i need to go back and fill in but all together i've actually done quite well at keeping up with this so i highly recommend the app it's completely free to use and i've just been loving doing that throughout january we now have my book recommendations and I'm so happy that I'm sitting here and saying this because one of my New Year's resolutions was actually to start reading more and I have successfully finished reading two whole books in January and started two more but I'm only going to recommend the ones that I've completely finished and so the first one is The Beekeeper of Aleppo. I did start reading this in 2021 towards the end but only fully got into it in 2022 and this was so good so heartbreaking i don't really know what to say when i'm recommending books to you all because i don't want to give too many spoilers but this is basically about refugees making the journey from one place to the next and it describes their journey in amazing amounts of detail and you really fall in love with the characters and i just can't recommend this enough especially if you're fancying a read that is a little bit different because i've never really read anything like this before and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it it's definitely worth the hype and i think i picked this up on amazon for about two pound when i bought it so it's not expensive at all and 
the first chapter brought tears to my eyes that's that's all i'm gonna say i read the first chapter and had to put it down because i was on the train and i was tearing up so if you want a tear jerker this is the one next up we have this book which is grace is gone and to put it simply it's a book that very closely follows the dd and gypsy rose storyline so it's all about fictitious disorder imposed on another also known as munchausen by proxy and basically the young girl grace is being abused by her mother and all of a sudden her mother is found dead grace is gone and it's like a murder mystery but at the same time follows this journey of sickness and health and it's a really good combination i think i might have got a little bit bored without the murder because it didn't focus too much on the illness side of things but it focused on it enough to give you a bit of an insight into it which is really good and obviously that is a topic that i wrote my dissertation on so i do have a bit of background knowledge and i really thoroughly enjoyed this i didn't want to put it down it was one of those ones where i read one chapter and immediately wanted to read the rest i couldn't i didn't want to stop i really didn't want to stop We've actually whizzed through this because I am onto the last item. I didn't realise I was getting through it that quickly. I think I've just been going blah, 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 and not taking a breath. I don't know why. If you ever notice me speaking so fast on my YouTube videos, I don't know why I do that. But I just blur everything out as if I'm on some sort of time limit when I'm not. Uh, but the last item is one that I'm really happy to be sharing with you all because I've wanted to do this for ages. And that is bullet journaling. I purchased a bullet journal I would say towards the end of 2021 but didn't start using it until 2022 because I knew I wanted it ready for the new year and I got this one off Amazon I didn't do too much research into it but I'm really happy with it anyway I believe it's from a company called Stars and Stripes I will link it down below if I can find it and it's just black um, it's got a little star on the front which I think is really cute and kind of matches the minimal vibe that I've gone for inside my bullet journal. And this is basically just how I'm planning out and organising my life this year. I just think this has been working much better for me than just buying a normal planner from the shop because I can be in charge of the layout and I often find that when I just buy normal yearly planners it's got things on there that I don't use, things on there that I wish I had and so by doing it yourself it's just much easier because you can make sure you've got everything you want. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the most artistic person in the world. I'm really, really bad at art. So as I said, this is very minimal for me. And I can give you a more in-depth tour if you like. But I do basically just use this to plan out my weeks, track my moods, track my goals and track my books. And so far, that's all I've really used it for. But I'm really enjoying doing it. And I've just found it to be really useful for me throughout January. Cannot wait to use it for the rest of the year, especially my mood tracker. That is my favourite thing to fill in at the end of the day, as sad as that sounds. Um, so if you're considering bullet journaling, but you don't feel like you can do it because you're not very artsy, that's absolutely fine. Just keep it minimal. I just think journaling is something that's so personal to everybody and you don't have to do these big grand spreads to make it perfect. Just use it for your own benefit. So that's my motivational speech of the day. Get yourself a bullet journal if you've been thinking about it. And that was also my last item, as I said. I can't quite believe how quickly I've got through that. I've only been filming for like 20 minutes, so I'm very impressed with that. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've used any of these items or let me know your recommendations in the comments below of things that you've loved using throughout January, especially if you've got book recommendations because that's really what I'm trying to get into this year. And without any further ado, I suppose I should just stop rambling and bring this video to a close as i said at the start i will definitely make these a bit more of a regular occurrence on my channel because i do enjoy filming them a lot and yeah that's about it really please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video goodbye